here, first match of the day. We have 33 players today. Manhira versus Garuda. Okay, today I have a lot of things to do. Uh, let me check if uh, Garuda, if uh, Cannon is fine. I'm just gonna check real quick the. Gonna check real quick the. Uh, let's go. Gonna check real quick uh, the turn bracket. I am going to ask uh, you guys to just. If you don't hear me speak, please don't worry. It's just that I'm uh, checking the bracket because we have a lot of people today. So I have a lot of management to do. Okay, let me check. Uh, where was Cannon? Cannon, Cannon. I'll get out of Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, it seems okay. Perfect. It seems perfect. Okay, so, uh, start for the way. Manhila is taking out the big guns right there. I could see it with the minigun. Oh, what is going on? Yo, where am I? Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, we're good. What? Why am I here, though? This ring. Yo, how are you doing, Akuman? Welcome to today's bro drill Come in. We have a lot of people today. 33 freaking players. One more than uh, the maximum threshold of our normal tournaments. And as we can see right now, Garuda is definitely bringing the heat, sending Manhila out of uh, the ring. Thank you very much for the follow, Ozoini, and welcome to the Brojos! Brojo e yoko sozoni san waku waku dana nebi! Dana wo do. Okay, so we see, nah, that's noble. If you're visiting Japan and you enter, I consider it a noble. Perfect. Yeah, nebi is very strong, by the way, so you definitely uh, should keep an eye on him. He's coming up on stream against Lancelot, so this is gonna be an interesting match. France versus China. This is definitely gonna be an interesting match. I'm doing pretty good, huh? Come on, man! Always doing good. I love doing what I'm doing right now. And as you can see, man, Hela trying so hard to get out of the Garuda pressure. And it was a checkmate right there with the reflector first. Match goes to Garuda in a very, very, very convincing fashion. That being said, man, Hela did manage to get the first round. So it's definitely not a totally one sided battle. If anything, uh, man, Hela is definitely uh, has the potential to bring it back eventually. So we'll see. I'm living in Japan, though. Anyways, here we go with Ooh, Garuda going straight through the behemoth right there from Manila. Garuda trying to get that knockdown using this. Oh, using the the flick. He's got the wall break. Not a hard knockdown though, but still gets the kill with uh, the Roman cancel straight into the 6 speed for the entire. Yo, did I see a knee in the bracket? Yeah, but it's, it's not B knee. <laughs> knee doesn't play uh, Guilty Gear. I checked his other tournament participation. He only participated to. Either Guilty Gear Strive tournaments or uh, King of Fighters 15, was it? So these are the only two types of uh, tournament you participated into. So I'm fairly sure it's not Beanie. <laughs> I'm fairly sure. Lagna-san, mite tala tonamer no ho kaku ni onegai shimasu. Ah, okay. Lagna-san, imasu de shou ka? Sorry, it's not the real. Yeah, it's not him. It's, it's definitely not him. Lagna-san, imasu ka? Lagna-san, Lagna-san. Lagna-san, if you're here, you're safe, right? Ah, I'm here. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. So, I'm sorry, but if you're here, can you call me Caffeine? Thank you very much. I'm here. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Everything's going perfect. Let me check real quick the bracket. I think everything's going pretty smoothly right now. Nobody's calling me, which is always a good thing. I think everything's going pretty smoothly right now. Nobody's calling me, which is always a good thing. No news, good news, as they say in France. <laughs> and here we go with the Garuda impact. Garuda keeping his namesake right there. Getting the wall break with the 2S. Gonna get the wall break. Oh, goes for the white Roman cancel and still recovers in time to get the grab and the kill. Garuda taking the second match as well, yo. Holy freaking lord, bringing in the heat. Menhila in dire straits right there. Not going to lie. Uh, the Manhila, not his first participation to the Brojo Cup, by the way, extremely strong player, but unfortunately for him, got scooped right there in a clean jump in. Uh, gets hit by the 6H2, very nice use of the 6 spear right there from Manhila, goes for the minigun to gain some uh, spacing, and good lord, are you seeing the- are you freaking serious? Garuda played out of his head, out of his mind right there, going for the, um, the spider head, how do you call it, the spike head? Uh, cancel into the Roman cancel just to tank one hit, Roman cancel, and then go straight for the um, the, the um, Potemkin Buster for the kill. That was sick stuff, yo. Good lord. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, the big aerial, the big aerial behemoth right there. 
Man who are definitely not out of this yet does not want to go to the loser's bracket right away. Unfortunately for him, got hit by a fully charged white Roman. Cancel. Nice back dash from Manhilla. This one. No. The bad lead time behemoth though. And still in dire straits right there. Needs to block. Forced to pop the burst. If Manhilla gets hit a single time, it is pretty much... Well, it's not going to be over, but it's going to be a pretty... Oh, okay. Here we go. Manhilla not out of this. Goes for the minigun to go through the um what's it called the um i forgot the name the um the barrier not the barrier the um, good lord i forgot <laughs> the the guard the guard uh, of garuda but unfortunately it was not enough to uh win this match and garuda takes it slot versus nebe who's gonna take it we shall see we shall see this is a high stake match right now who is going to take it we shall see okie dokie bridge and cookie Lancelot getting pumped, letting the intro rip. Maybe doing the same. Who's going to take it? We shall see. Let me check the bracket while we're at it. Vive la France, indeed! Let's go, France! Let's go! <laughs> but Nibby is really strong, by the way. I played against them like uh, one year ago or whatnot, and I remember really struggling. <laughs> so, Lancelot is in dire straits, I'm not gonna lie. But Lancelot is also very strong, so. We'll see how this pans out. Okay, and first a blood drawn by Lancelot going and pushing Nebby in the corner, unfortunately for him! Ooh, almost exploded right there! That would have been so bad for Lancelot. That being said, Lancelot right now with a very high blood uh, level. He needs to be really careful, gets the hit in. Ooh, ooh, we have a lot of lag, not gonna lie. Ah, and Lancelot is gonna explode. <laughs> And here we go, we got the side switch. Is Nebby gonna get a touch of death? Oh, uh, are we gonna get a tough touch of No, he doesn't finish it! Not like this! Oh lord, not like this! Wait, oh, here we go with the tap, Dustin! Lancelot saving it at the freaking skin of his teeth! That went down to the wire, that was so clutch, not going to lie. It was good stuff, here we go with Lancelot with the counter hit, with the forest. It goes for the Shizuri Yoki, reads the jump out of Nebi, gonna get the wall break. That was pretty sick read, read right there from Lancelot, goes for the white Roman cancel. Nebi forced to pop the reverse, uh, you call the wall, the, the wild reverse, or whatever the hell it's called, I don't care. And unfortunately for him, gets shimmied and dies in the process. First match goes to Lancelot. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the next battle. Here we go. Nebby going to draw first blood, gets the push in the corner, unfortunately couldn't, ooh, gets it with the 6p right there, going for the, what's it called, the, uh, the, for the name, the, uh, spiral arrow. Okay, here we go back into the neutral, Nebby getting hit by a fully charged white Roman can, so you hate to see it. The yeah, Lancelot looking pretty good right there, trying to read the jump out of Nebby, goes for the 2h, but Nebby, being very patient, did not commit to it. Here we go, Nebby. You almost got hit right there by the grab, by the bite. Good stuff from Lancelot. Gets the juggle, the corner positioning as well. Goes for the 2k, preventing Nebby from trying to get out of the corner. Big 6 spear right there from Nebby. Almost got the juggle, but drops it. Ah, uh, wait, wait. No, not like this. Nebby looking. Ooh, uh, this is scary right there. Ooh, good stuff from Nebby. Should be able to seal it if he doesn't drop it. And they don't. Uh, boom, Kaidi must boom! Kaidi must in heaven, sir! Nebby taking the second round. Okay, not totally out of this yet. The first round of the second map. Let's see how this turns out. Nice read right there from the bite. A lot of blood right there for Lancelot getting hit by the the what's called the the the, the 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 spiral arrow. Here we go with the spiral arrow again goes for the low. Should be able to get yep the Ventania into the wall break. Hard dog down guaranteed. Was gonna be the mix. Oh, okay, goes for the grab. Sometimes the easiest is uh, the best. Don't overthink it. First, well, second match goes to Nebby. Nebby, Nebby. Not out of this yet by any means. And yeah, nobody calling me, this is perfect. I love when people don't call me. No news, good news, as the Frenchmen say. And here we go with the jump in. Nebby getting the grab. Goes for, ooh, okay, just a regular 2S. Forcing Lancelot to pop the burst though. Lancelot using a lot of blood right now. Ooh, and Nebby, man. Nebby with the tap dust. Should be able to get the wall break. No, drops that freaking Ventania. Not the Ventania, the uh, the Nissante. He tries to go for the tap dust, but Lancelot with 
the chicken jump right there was able to block it but still got open right at the end unfortunately for them here we go the 2p 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 oh gets the shame should be able to get a wall break ah drops it though but still fine even gets better than what he was intending to get again with the grab nibby going for yeah some relentless pressure right there finally forced to block it no nibby lets it rip and doesn't have another bar to block it and lancelot makes full use of it with the grab oh nice read from nibby is he gonna get the kill don't drop it oh and he drops it i drinks it <laughs> oh that was an unfortunately time reflect right there from lancelot unfortunately for him but unfortunately for nebby nebby capitalizes off of it and manages to get the kill on to potentially set point right there and maybe getting grabbed by the bite it's going to be hell of a long pressure time right there for them oh gary gonna be forced above the burst goes for the jump and wow it's high tap dust wow i think he meant to go for a grab probably but miss uh ah nice bite right there from lancelot and it's back to pressure time you love to see it here you go you don't like blocking you don't have a choice oh but but lancelot's gonna pop right there lancelot definitely gonna pop right there yeah or not saved by the bell Saved by the bell and look at the risk gauge of Nebby, man. She was at, at, at... Oh, wow. He went for fully charged dust, though. Here we go with the jumping. Good stuff from Nebby. Tries to go for a tap dust, but man. Lancelot. First two. No, oh, go for the bite. And you did. You did, yeah. <laughs> and you did. Whatever would have happened would have been death either ways. Okay, good stuff from Lancelot. Not out of this yet. Managed to get the kill. Ooh, big, big, big Beyblade from Lancelot goes for the safe jump trying to go oh, almost got the 6p but maybe just out of range right there gets hit by the Beyblade once again we go with the 6hs again with the delayed Beyblade ah uh, really throwing maybe off with the various different timings oh, careful now he was gonna explode that was your freaking that was your way to go all right, and here we go with. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, okay, this. Go ahead and say. It's not gonna. Ah, sorry, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, kill cannon. Sorry, uh, I'm gonna give the the win to Hagiara if you don't mind. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, Hagiara win. Ne? Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, Hagiara san ni shori ni saste itadakimashita. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Kill Cannon, you can try to play in the... You, you have still the loser's bracket. So you can try to play over there. Okay, no problem. You have the loser's bracket still. Try to see if you can connect with somebody else. And if you can, then nah, it, it's life. It, it's fine, don't worry. You still have uh, you still have uh, Evo Japan. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> but anyways, it's fine, it's fine. Try your best in the loser's bracket. <laughs> and here we go in... Uh, the corner, maybe not happy from having lost. Oh, damn, we're going on to the final freaking uh, set, by the way. Nice grab from Lancelot, though. Goes for the white Roman cancel. Getting it by the... Ooh, Lord. Oh, he got it by the cross-up and gets it by the far age. Good stuff from Nebby. Looking pretty good right now. Gets the lead. He's going down to the wire, by the way. Is friends going to prevail? Friend versus China. Let's go, Nebby. Allez, allez, Nebi, on y va! <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, nice back dash from Nebi. I'm totally not biased. I'm totally not biased. Oh, good stuff from Lancelot, though, not gonna lie. Okay, Lancelot trying to go for fully charged dust, though. This is gonna come and bite him in the butt. Here we go. Wait, ooh, the cross up. And this should be it. No, Nebi, dropping it. Nebi, why did you drop it? Not like this, not like this. Here we go with the aerial, the aerial overdrive in my country. Men win. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna him from Hong Kong. Let's see how this pans out. Mm. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. It's about Japan week. Yes, it is. It's gonna be crazy. Thank you very much for the follow, Utopia MGC, and welcome to the Brown Rose. Uh, yes, I got the correct flag for Hakure. So hopefully it's not going to be too laggy because last time that how could I played, we did have a little bit of lag. That being said, look at this. I think going straight for the <laughs> straight for the wall. Not afraid. That being said, still out. Ooh, 
Nice take from Stella. He was really on the verge of getting cooked right there. Good stuff. Oh, he gets the juggle. Should be able to get the wall break as well. And does. Straight into the hard knockdown. And Stella going for the Kabari. Tries to go for the air to air. But Hakude makes... Oh. Makes a good job of... Oh, mixing his... Uh, his options. Stella not afraid to go in. Against... Oh, gets the wild assault. Well, let's see how they spend it out. Oh, no 6 feet right there for Stella, unfortunately for them. Oh, pressing buttons as well. Gonna get the hard knock down. Ooh! How good are they going for the blue room and cancel back that? That was sick. Oh, what the hell was this? IAD into jumping due to delay the, the, the grounded state. Forcing uh, Stella to get hit by an overhead. That was actually pretty sick. Good stuff from Stella, though. Not out of this yet. Gonna get a full combo with the wall break. Good stuff from... Sutella, so let me check the bracket real quick. I kind of want to go get grab myself some water as well, but that is what it is. So let me check real quick. Okay. okay, everything's fine. All good, all good. Okay, sorry for the wait. Uh, so here we go with the hard roaming cancel. The hard knockdown, sorry, from Hakure. Will he get hit? Oh, and he does. <laughs> Stella, who still had like an additional bar that he decided to use to extend the combo, potentially getting a wall break, and he does! Of course it's Stella, of course, if he does something, usually it will be optimized. His stuff from uh, Stella goes from the- oh, the, oh, this is actually pretty bad! Nice block from Stella! Yes, the hit and goes straight for the 6H for the kill! Stella, bringing it back, man! And how could they just holding on to their burst, not wanting to take the risk of like, getting baited and losing their burst for, the, for this round? That being said, oh, Stella almost got baited right there. Here we go with, oh, the forest counter hit. No more burst for either one of them. The one who gets hit right there is going to have to eat a bunch of damage without possibility of getting out of it. Okay, good stuff from Stella. Gets hit though right there. Nice closest from Akure Lemu goes for the secret edge for guaranteed hard knockdown. Probably going to go for a safe jump. No, goes for the delayed D probably trying to bait. The, uh, what's it called? The, um, ah, we are going okay, to get we are in. That's good. Hopefully we won't have another error by the end of the, the tournament. Hopefully. We shall see. Hmm. Okay, anyways, and here we go with the close-up pressure from Hagre Lame. Try, ooh, getting hit air to air right there. By Stella. Stella gonna go for the optimization station. Goes for the cross-up for the, oh, Lord, the stun dipper right there. Catching the bag dash from, Hag from Stella. It's gonna be a big wall break. And nice damage, by the way. Look at this. Half of your life gone, sir. Here we go. The Fudra Dark. The close-up pressure right there. Trying to uh, invite Stella to press a button. Just to confirm Garuda and his match. Is, uh, if you have no uh, info... If you have no info in your uh, chat from me, that means that your match is not streamed. So yeah, you can you can start playing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No info in chat equals uh, no stream. So yeah, you can, you can play. No problem. Anyway, here we go with the ooh the D and the uh, double the W for Hakure right there. Okay, here we go with this trade right there. Big counter hit from Stella. Gonna get a full combo. Oh, goes for the cross up and gets it. Good stuff. Oh, this time I'll probably tried to go for a grab, but unfortunately jumped out of it at the absolute last second. Then here we go with oh Lord the save jumps. Oh no no this is bad. This is an unfortunate, uh, probably execution error from Stella getting hit by the jumping D, man. Good stuff from Hakure Lemu. Gonna get the wall break. Not a hard knockdown, though. Trying to bait, yeah, Hakure Lemu to press a button. And eventually gets the kill. Okay, Stella not out of this. Definitely needs this one if she wants to at least keep a certain amount of, um, you know, of uh, peace of mind, if I might say. Because being down 2-0 is definitely... Pretty hard, uh, pretty hard mentally speaking. Here we go, the stun edge. No 6p from uh, Hakure, that's uh, pretty surprising. Okay, here we go, the follow up of Dikabari. Hakure still content just to block. Beautiful backdash though. Gets the side switch using the Roman cancel. Looking pretty good right now. And look at the damage. Good freaking lord. Good lord. No, nothing involved. Just one bar used for the Roman cancel. Straight into the right, the lightning mother humper. For the hard knockdown. Then he spins out. I think he blocked it. Yeah, boom, boom. Boom. Yeah, goes for the grab. 
to prevent Stella from being able to uh, to burst. Beautiful. Oh, good freaking work. Good. Good. So let's see how this pans out. Just checking the bracket real quick just to see if I'm not missing anything. Hopefully not. Okay, good stuff from Hakurele. Forcing Stella to pop the burst. Hakurele. Oh, getting hit by the 2S counter hit though. Has no other choice than to sustain it. Any connection issue from Hakure tonight? Uh, we do, we do, we do. Well, uh, so we're still able to see the match, but in in between each matches, there's a connection error, which uh, which basically kicks us off the spectator seat. So I need to kill the room and then do a new room. So this is like twice in a row. It's still okay since we can see the match. So it's, it doesn't really bother me, but it might be bothering for Stella though, but for me, it's fine. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go with the trade. Uh, oh, get a nice grab right there from Haku, from uh, from Stella getting the cross up. Gonna get a full combo right there. Ah, uh, goes for the reset and gets it. Gets a double freaking side switch. What the hell was that, man? I love watching Stella play. It's such a freaking treat seeing him play. Anyways, ah, uh, Hakure Lemu getting hit by the two as though you had to see it. Let's see how this pans out. Now to the next battle. Oh, big far S counter hit. Got a big, big combo right there. Akure Lemu getting hit by Forest though. Ooh, and still getting the hit with the far S. It goes so freaking far. And here we go with the wall break. Goes with the wall assault to get guaranteed hard knockdown. See how this spins out. Ooh, almost got the bait on the grab. Ooh, big stun dipper. Tries to go for the grab. Things are looking pretty bleak for Stella. Forced to pop the burst. Let's see how this spins out. Goes for the Sun Dipper. And almost got the grab. That was sick. Ah, nice 2 HS right there from Stella. Gets it by the... the, the was, Oh, and this should do. Akure Lemu takes it. 3 to Nelson. Usuyaba versus Harakiri. Let's see how it spins out. I'll get my money. is probably on Harakiri. Not going to lie. He is extremely strong. And he's been uh, winning against uh, Usuyaba as well. I'll be right back, guys. Just going to drink a bit. Okay, sorry for the wait. And so far, so good. Harakiri uh, currently with the life deficit. Luciaba looking pretty good, not going to lie. Ooh, gets hit by the DP though. By the Hawks Baker. Let's see how this spins out. Luciaba with the install going completely ham and gets the kill with the Donzai. <laughs> Donzai! <laughs> I really like Abba. She's such a fun character. Anyways, there we go. Ooh, big air to air in favor of Haraki. Gonna get a full combo. Uh, carry a full corner carry combo. Unfortunately for them, gets hit by the jump in. Grab of Usuyaba. Usuyaba going install. Try to go for the, I guess, the Donza again. Anyways, here we go with. Ooh, here we go with the freaking. How you call this shit? The fuzzy. With the body! I'm glad Abba seems pretty strong, was worried she'd be on the Oh, she's definitely good. I think she's really good. Once she's in, like, literally, when she's in install, she's the best character in the, the game, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, it, the problem is getting to the install, basically. Uh, which is, which can be pretty hard in some matchup, especially ones who, um, with characters who don't necessarily need to interact with you in order to hit, to hurt you. Uh, I do believe, yeah, she might struggle a bit. But yeah, overall, she seems pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah, she definitely seems pretty good. Uh, that being said, Harakiri is no stranger to this matchup. So if anything, uh, Usuyaba actually looking pretty good. Uh, currently taking the lead. Oh, and here we go with the wake up, right? The lightning, I hope. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a Donzai, unfortunately for them. Let's see how this spins out. Harakiri going for the close-up pressure. Getting grabbed, unfortunately for them. Here we go with Usuyaba going slow this time around. Trying to bait... Uh, Trying to bait the low guard from Harakiri. Here we go with Usiaba. Uh, unfortunately, is out of there and still gets the kill though. Very nicely done. Usiaba looking pretty clean. Not going to lie. And on to the next one. 
Good freaking lord, that read though. I'm already an insult. What are you gonna do, Harakiri? Harakiri with the DP, the Hogs Baker. Good stuff from the Suyama. Fortunately for them, had to get out of install mode in, the, in order to keep some of that uh, jealousy gauge. Yo, let's see how this spins out. Okay, nice blocks from Abba. Unfortunately for them, they're in the corner. Get back to the neutral. Let's see Abba with all oh, the install. And that's unfortunate for them. They got hit. First spot, the burst gets hit by the Donzai, though. Ah, damn it, but drops it and gets hit by a DP of their own. Okay, what is going to happen? We shall see. Ah, big forest right there from Harakiri. Harakiri just taking his time. Doesn't want to overextend. Yeah. Ah, but Haraki getting hit by the negative penalty, but still, it's fine. It went perfectly fine for them. You can see Harakiri taking his time, doesn't want to overextend, doesn't want to give the opportunity to, of Usui Abba to fill in their uh, jealousy gauge in order to turn into the install. Ah, and again with the wake up deeper right there from Haraki, not respecting. Ah, man, and Abba pressing buttons, unfortunately for them. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Arakiri eating a bit, getting his gauge full. Here we go with the Tyrant Rave! And Harakiri, man. Definitely looking way cleaner this time around. Big counter hit. Abba first about the burst and again getting hit by the DP. Yeah, things are looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. And this should be it. Alright, Kitty taking the second match. We have a tie, lady and gentlemen. One match apiece. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Let's rock and beam. Here we go to jump in. And Hara Kitty. Oh man, reading the jump and getting the aerial grab. Oh man, Hara Kitty looking very clean right now. Good lord. Definitely getting a read on Abba right now. On Usi Abba it is. That is... Ah, and Usi Abba pressing some buttons right there. And unfortunately for them, getting perfected. That was a quite the statement from uh, from Harakiri. Let's see how this spins out. No anti-airs right there from Harakiri. Ooh, Lord! And here we go with the pain. <laughs> Usi Abba with... Oh, drops the combo! That was a very, very uh, cheeky from Usi Abba. Attempting a combo I've never seen before. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Okay, nice. Nice command dash. Okay, here we go with the close-up pressure. Ooh, and it's the Abba with the putties. Good stuff from Abba. Still gets the key in. Let's see how this turns out. Ooh! Okay, good stuff. But still, Harakiri is not out of this yet. Oh, Lord. The drop, though. Ooh. Okay, and here we go with... Ah, uh, Usuya, but first pop the burst. She doesn't have any jealousy gauge, though. Oh, tried to go for a cheeky tap does, but man. Harakiri ready for the blocks. Good lord. Nice blocks right there from Harakiri. Isn't that uh, Abbas theme? Uh, by, the, by the way, <laughs> the song playing right now. I think it is. <laughs> and here we go with the blocks. <laughs> I don't know if somebody put it in or if it was just random, but if it's the case, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, that's great to hear. <laughs> Not giving them the theme song power up yet. Yeah, I see. Abba no dust to you, eh, to Oku no te ga yabrai. So this yo ne, watashi mo chutto sozo wa tsukanakata no ni, eh, harakiri ga sore o mikite, chanto block wa dekite mashita ne. Sasuga desu. Anyways, we go with harakiri trying to get the corner pressure. Unfortunately for Abba, man. Uh, unfortunately for them. Gets opened up by Usi Abba, and here we go with the wake up. Ride the lightning! Good lord, man! Harakiri with all of the correct answers. 
forcing Abba to yeah to block as much as possible to spin their gauge as quickly as possible. Nice block though from Uzuaba, but gets it with the follow. -up. Ah, this is looking pretty bleak. Yeah, and Uzuaba holding on and on to their uh, burst gauge. We are going on to the set point. Uzuaba needs to win this one if they want to stay in the winner side of the bracket. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, Haraki looking very clean. Oh lord, nice block, and Usiaba still, oh, but still getting hit by the DP. You hate to see it. Quick roll since the <laughs> Greg, somebody put it in. Quick. And it was nice bag dash right there from Usiaba. Finally getting something going on, and still Haraki with the wake up DP. Oh, good lord. Went to the freaking, uh, what's it called, the, uh, Red the Lightning. Okay, nice block. Okay, what's gonna happen? Usiaba desperate to get something going. Ah, uh, gets the jump, then gets the kick. Ah, uh, needs to get the hit in. Ah, uh, no, and still the gauge is gonna be wasted. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ah, uh, Usiaba getting hit straight into the right, the lightning yet again. Gonna get that wall break. Okay, ah, uh, lord, nice Abari from Usiaba. Things are looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. No jealousy bar gets hit by the freaking lunge, and this is probably gonna be this. Oh no! Oh, the wake up overdrive! Okay, if you want to get to now, why? You <laughs> see, Abba not believing that Haraka DP. Danzai wins against any DP. <laughs> if you like do it, if you mediate, uh, the invincibility, the, the armor frames of the Danzai is such that. You're gonna stuff the DP of the enemy even if you launch it first. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy. Anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure and barrel rocking actually. Uh whoa, whoa, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Rocking Biken, second Biken that we have in the tournament today, which is awesome because uh we don't have a lot of Biken representation in normal times, so it's actually cool. Danzai is involved from when uh frame number uh please uh, call me out if it's not the case, but I think it's frame number four or five maybe six and from there it's it's invulnerable for like a whole like half of a second or, or a second even i'd say so yeah it's, it, it goes through it goes through like whatever else comes after it <laughs> for sure like the curse pot rope tech yeah could have hoped it in the corner that would have been funny anyways here we go with barrel taking barrel taking the in the first round let's see if mofumofu can bring it back that is just the first round though, so it's definitely possible for them to make it so. Let me check the uh the bracket real quick. Real 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 quick. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna have this one go, and then we are going to reach the uh semifinals in not too long. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, we go with uh Mofu Mofu going for the tab does unfortunately could not get the follow-up. Go with the slide head. Oh lord, nice air grab and Mofu Mofu takes it. Good stuff from Mofu Mofu. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> uh, hot damn downside, yeah, it is a pretty big button. It's one of the best buttons in the game, but in order to access it, you need to be in a... Uh... Well, first and foremost, it doesn't have like frame 1 invincibility frames, so you cannot like do it on wake up. Uh, and second, you the, the only way to access this move is if you are... If you're on install, and getting an install with ABBA is a bitch, so it's actually not very easy. Anyways, here we go. Oh, Lord! And Barrel just letting it rip, sir. Will he Roman cancel? I think he will. Yeah, he will. To get the oh, full extension station. Look at the damage! Barrel! Do a barrel roll, put him in. <laughs> Good stuff from Barrel takes the first match. Good Lord! Good stuff. That was a crazy combo at the end, not gonna lie. Okay, let's see if Mofu Mofu can bring it back, we shall see. Nice for nice part S right there from Barrel. Uh where do I want to do this? Here we go with a close-up press right there from Barrel. Trying to get the opening. Gets the opening. Gonna get the wall break. Yes will. With the uh the the the, the revolver. And unfortunately for Mofu he gets open right there, and this should be it. Yes, it is. Straight into another gun. Another fireworks. 
Okie dokie breads and cookie. Let's see how it's going to go. Barrel. Barrel trying to make their way closer and closer. Okay, here we go with the blocks. Oh, Lord. White Roman casual hit. Just see it. Barrel tried to get the hidden. Trying to find the opening. Move, move, and just content to block. Gets the entire. Almost gets the uh, Garuda and Pack right there. And White Roman cancel for the win. We go with. Oh, Lord. I, yeah, he probably blocked it. Okay, Mofu, what is gonna be the block? Oh, get okay, straight into the fully charged dust. Is this gonna kill you? Yeah, it should be it. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff from Mofu Mofu. Uh, doesn't overextend, doesn't go for a combo that didn't kill. Went straight for the dust, which is sometimes the best way to punish, by the way. So good stuff from Mofu Mofu. First to get the hit in. Trying to pin Barrel down, but man, Barrel is one hard barrel to pin down indeed. Here we go with the jump in. Barrel finding the opening. Didn't quite get the follow up though. <laughs> Mofu Mofu making good use of the 2P uh, while being Kabarid. Potentially to have the, uh, what's it called, the, um, the frame traps. No problem, Hakuman. Have a good lurk, man. And here we go with the jump in barrel. Barrel going completely ham with the freaking uh, how do you call this? Going ham with the with the Yozan scent. Almost got uh, hit by the uh, by the hammer fall while he was back dashing. That being said, oh, my Mofu tried to go for a command grab, but Barrel knew it. Woke up with a, a freaking Yozan scent, not to get hit by the by the by the command grab attempt. Very nicely done by Mofu Mofu. Not gonna lie. Okay, and here we go. Barrel with the Kabari combo right after the grabs. Okay, Mofu Mofu not overextending. Having some hard, uh, having a pretty hard time trying to find his footing in all, uh, in all honesty. That being said, it can go bad very quick for Barrel. Boom! Ooh, that was very scary. Nice, he was on set right there from Barrel. A barrel. Oh, it's going to be nice. Ragnar san, kyo wa eto go sanka itada ki arigatou gozaimashita. Mata kikai ga reba ne. Eto yoroshiku onegaishimasu ne. De kyo eto rensen shite itada ki arigatou gozaimashita. Tanoshikatta desu. Naka hisashibisa, hisabisa Ragnar san to taisen dekite tanoshikatta desu. Arigatou gozaimashita. Anyways, here we go with uh, Mofu Mofu getting the close S counter hit straight into the knuck, the heat knuckle into death. C'est pas grave, t'inquiète Nebi. T'inquiète, merci beaucoup d'avoir participé, c'est tout ce qui compte. And uh, here we go with the 2HS counter hit. Yo, Ohio, Ohio to you, Ohio, how you doing? Mago Bracket Killer, je te jure. Ah bah mon pote, hein. Ah, je peux pas test, hein. Let's go, c'est Oui, pas ni mais ni, si tu es pour l'eau, ça Ah, c'est un ska. Go, je suis au sama de ça, t'aime ça. Go, t'en kai t'arrête, qu'il y a des gâteaux ça. And here we go with Barrow forcing the burst from Mokumofu. Gonna go play Majo and be right back for Grand Finals. Okay. Enjoy Nebi. Thanks for uh thanks for coming by, bro. Much appreciated. Oh look! And we're going to 2D counter it. No, oh, and Mofu Mofu getting the sweet old pot. Oh, put Buster in and oh, didn't get the kill. Are you serious? That wasn't enough, but still got the kill this time around with the white Roman cancel. Mofu Mofu not out of this yet. Finally puts one on the board. Let's hope for a comeback. That would be sick. Not going to lie. And on with the start of the round with straight white Roman cancel. <clears throat> uh, not white Roman cancel. White wild assault. I'm sorry. Oh, big 2D counter it. <laughs> Okay, here we go with the jump in. Mofu, Mofu. And making good use of the wild, white, ra ah, white, wild assault. I hate seeing this, man. The only wild assault who is racist. Good lord, doesn't discriminate against everybody. <laughs> here we go with the Roman cancel. A big Yozan Sen right there from Barrel forcing the, uh, forcing the, uh, the yellow Roman cancel, by the way. But them kids got white privilege. <laughs> it's exactly the 
<laughs> the only wild assault that's racist right there. Okay, here we go. Mofo, mofo. Try to get that quarter positioning. Good lord. <clears throat> oh, big cross up right there from Barrel using the Yozansen. That was pretty great. Sick. Okay, and here we go again with the Yozansen. When do you block? When do How do you block? High, low, we don't see. Good stuff from Barrel on set points. Mofu Mofu needs this one if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket. Mofu Mofu fighting for his life, not going to lie. Oh, big 2S right there. And tire, by the way. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Uh, Mofu, Mofu trying to get the knockdown, though. Oh, got the slider hit. Oh, wait, he got the bait on the... How do you call it? The bait on the... Uh, I've heard the name. The, the, the Hiragi. Yeah, the Hiragi. I keep forgetting the name of this uh, this group. Anyways, yeah, Mofu Mofu content to just block, but gets hit by the 2HS counter hit. Ah, oh, Lord. Straight into the corner. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, and I think this is going to be a punish. Yeah, good stuff. Nice punish by Barrel. Not enough uh, bars in order to get the follow-up. Roman Castle gets the 2HS. This should be it. Not enough to Roman Castle. One more is all that is required. Good Lord. Ah, uh, White Roman Castle. White Wild Assault. You can see a barrel. Oh, it's not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over. Try to get the knockdown. Oh, 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 my Mofu Mofu breaks it back. Good Lord, I didn't see this coming. That went down to the wire. Mofu Mofu staying alive by the skin of his teeth, man. Good stuff. That's what we like to see right there. Big 4HS counter hit, Mofu Mofu getting every single hit in. He's starting to get a pattern, goes for the racist wild assault. I'm just kidding, like, that's by the way, I, I need to stop doing this because it's not actually pretty nice to say this. The white wild assault. <laughs> I just, the image is fun, I'm sorry. Just the image of the this wild assault being so strong and stronger than every other wild, ass, wild assault in the game just makes me, it makes me laugh a bit. Anyways, here we go with the grab from Mofu Mofu getting the kill off of the OTG. Mofu Mofu on set point. Is he going to be able to take it? We shall see. Good lord. Oh. And here we go with the heels on set. Good lord. It is robbery. I'm not going to lie. Good lord. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this pans out. But apparently, according to Leffen, they're working on it. They're really trying to think about how to restructure the white wild assault and make it less dominant because this shit is really freaking strong <laughs> i'm really not gonna lie good look good look what is going on mofu 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 doesn't want to overextend that being said daryl daryl barrel barrel getting hit right there it might be it no garuda okay nice slider hit mofu mofu with the white wild assault is it gonna be it is it gonna be it? Not enough, he goes for the top dash and gets the kill, Mofu Mofu, with the comeback. Hey guys, I can guarantee you, the match that you're all about to see right now is gonna be peak Guilty Gear Strive. I can guarantee you. You've probably never seen this before. Saigo, Boton, and Bakati, Steshima, and Moshiaki, and Mofu Mofu. Oh, it's a daiji with this, Mofu Mofu. It's a daiji Yeah, so apparently, Mofu Mofu didn't. Uh, he didn't taunt on purpose at, at the end. He just said, excuse me, I really didn't do it on purpose. So, yeah, it wasn't on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Miss Loop, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, intentional, apparently. But anyways, that being said, look at this. Hey, Kocha, already with the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, I got having a little bit of a hard time trying to place their minions on the set. They're probably not going to use their burst for obvious reasons. And not enough to kill. Is it going to be enough to kill? And it is. Good stuff from Heiko-chan. Takes the first round extremely convincingly. Let's see if it, they can keep it up. We shall see. And yeah, Heiko-chan, man. Doing a good job of dispatching every single little minion there is. See how this spins out. Okay, Heiko-chan trying to make their way. Finds the opening. Gets the grab. What's the mix? Okay, Kochan always looking pretty clean. Oh lord, and Hagiana reading the side swap right there. Goes for the aerial grab and gets it. 
Get this time around. It's Hagiara who's bringing in the heat. Gonna get that sweet, sweet corner positioning. Goes for the hard knockdown using the Wild Assault. It's gonna be... Ah, the pressure. Good stuff from Heiko-chan. Goes. Ah, Lord. Fortunately for them, get scooped with the 2k 2d. This should be it. No, the drop from Hagiara. And the 6p for the kill. Good stuff from Hagiara. Okay, one round apiece. Who's gonna take the that very, very sweet first uh, match? We shall see. Okie dokie, here we go. Okay. Heiko-chan dispatching, get, disposing of every single little minion there is. So we go with Hagiara, bringing the heat, getting the knockdown into the forever illusion driver. Here we go. Heiko-chan gotta eat this. What's gonna be the... It's gonna be the wake up. Ah, get scooped by the wild assault, unfortunately. I gotta take the first match, and that is a huge relief for them, definitely. Let's see if Heiko-chan can change their tactics in order to bring it back. We shall see. Ah, getting hit by the minion in, in the back. You hate to see it. Yeah, Heiko-chan trying to use the reflect shield right there to push Hagara off of his back, but yeah, there's only so much you can do against uh, Jacko in the corner. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Heiko-chan blocking a lot right there. Again, using the reflect shield. Ah, getting hit by the tab dust. Straight into the kill. With a perfect, by the way. Hagala looking very, very strong right now. Not going to lie. Hagala has been playing out of his mind recently, man. Here we go with the... Ah, the... The side switch. Which I'm trying to get... Ah, uh, Lord. Oh, get the hit! No, too far to get the fully optimization station. Nice 2k TD right there from Hagara. Gets the side switch. Gets heiko exactly where they want. Goes for a 6p right there, probably a... Oh, wow, the sledge though, right at the end. Nice schmixes right there from heiko -chan. Should be able to get the kill. And does. Let's see how this spins out. heiko -chan. Let's see if they can bring... They can win this one as well. Gets the side switch. Ah, okay, nice. Button press right there from Agera. Knowing that heiko -chan was going to go for a bluff. Well, was going to go for a reset, that is. Okay, nice air to air. Hagiara getting the juggle. Are you serious? That was sick. Nice air to air again from Hagiara getting the aerial grab. Close for the grab. Heiko Chan looking pretty. Oh man, that is a heartbreaker. Man, Hagiara looking so freaking strong. Heiko Chan looking so freaking lost. It's so uncharacteristic, by the way, because Heiko Chan used to be so dominant. But it's fine, it's fine. Hagiara did bring in the. did did work a lot to attain the level that he's at right now, so it's only normal. That being said, okay, here we go. Ah, Hikochan trying to get out of this corner, man, but Hagara won't let them. It's crazy. Nice to get to the right there from Hagara. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Try to go for an air to air. Too far, unfortunately, for Hikochan. Goes for the sledge. Okay, and Hagara just content to take their dis distance. Nice air to air grab, man. I get out on point. Ah, goes for the tap, doesn't get it. We are on set point. That went way quicker than what I was expecting. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Okie dokie. Back to the zoning game. Heiko chan. Heiko chan, we're looking really, really in a bad spot right now. Tries to go for resets right there to get that sweet, sweet knockdown. Ah, yeah. That, ooh, finally getting knocked down. Good stuff from Heiko Chan. Finding the opening. Goes for the side switch. Wow, where where are you supposed to block? Oh, here we go. The white, the yellow Roman cancel. Ah, nice air to air grab right there from Heiko Chan. From, uh, from, oh, yeah. And this is going to be it. That went way quicker than what I thought. Wow, Hagiara, man, definitely stepping things up, not gonna lie. Taking it a clean three to, uh, upstream battle for Eto, if I might say. But then again, we are uh, prone to surprises, especially in the Brojo Cup. So we'll see how this turns out. Hiko either feeling the rust or Hagiara even sharper today. I think it's a combination of both. Hagiara has been grinding the game like a madman. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be right back.
Okie dokie, I'm back. So, first round went to Mugi, actually. Mugi, who has been really stepping his game up uh, these past month. Wow, and here we go with the, uh, the trade. Mugi with the closest. Getting the confirm straight into the killing combo. First match goes to Mugi. Mugi, the ambassador of the Brojo Cup. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this pans out. Mugi getting the hit, forcing it to, to pop the burst right away. Let's see how this pans out. Mugi using the yeah the 2K in order to prevent Ito from getting close. Good lord! Here we go. The ah uh, the Beyblade goes for the standing S with the extension using the Roman cancel. Oh, uh, by the way, we have Dark Necro in the in the tournament today as well. Wonder where he is. Ah, Dark Necro got sent in the losers bracket. Oh, or actually, Dark Necro no didn't uh, didn't uh, check in in time. I think. Ah, that's unfortunate. I wish we could have seen him. Yeah, we didn't get Dark Necro today. Ah, that's unfortunate. Which is fine. But anyways, we have Mugi. <laughs> and here we go with Eto and the. Oh, goes for the freaking lows. Guess the opening. Mugi, chicken jumping right there. Unfortunately for him, gonna get a uh, Ototoi command. And here we go with the hard knockdown. Oh, wow. Mugi with the blue Roman cancel out of the blue, I guess. And here we go with the juggles. And it's finally taking one round. Ooh, no anti right there. It's what taking this opportunity to get the grab. Fortunately for him, got scooped by the Beyblade. Okay, here we go with Ah Boogie with the six HS. Almost got the juggle too. That was sick. Okay, here we go with the air to air. Boogie with the confirms and the six HS OTD for the kill. Boogie taking the second match as well. What is it to gonna do? Things are looking pretty dire, not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with... Ooh, the cross up. Ito not able to com combo though, unfortunately for them. Okie dokie, and here we go with uh, the command grab. Eto going for the overhead, though. Okay, almost got scooped right there. Uh, Eto unfortunately popped the burst at the absolute worst timing possible. <laughs> Just like this, we are on set point, by the way. Moogie looking very strong, not gonna lie. Goes for the closest. Goes for the white Roman cancel, the white wild assault. Can't see. Eto stuck in the corner, man. Not a lot to get out of it. Good stuff from Ah Mugi going for the Ah the bite, and this is gonna be death. Mugi looking extremely strong to them. Oh, sorry for the way Garuda versus Hagiara. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. So Garuda had an awesome performance against Menhila, uh, who was rocking at the time. Uh, Dickinson. So let's see how he fares against none other than Hagiara, one of the strongest jackal players. In Japan currently. And I got looking pretty good right now. Trying to put Garuda in the corner. Garuda having a pretty hard time right now. Trying to deal with both the onslaught of the minions but also of Hagara himself. Nice block from Garuda though. Okay, Garuda needs one hit. Ah, nice jump in right there. Hagara goes for the tap dot. Oh, it's your turn! Okay, let's see. Garuda definitely does not want to let this go. If he does, it's going to be pretty hard for them to... Ah, okay, well. Decided not to use the burst. Okay, good stuff right there. Garuda getting the closest counter and manages to take it. Good lord. All you need is one opportunity, man. Just like Eminem said. 
Uh, you have one shot or one opportunity, bro, to seize everything you ever wanted. And Garuda definitely did right there. Yeah, anyways, let's see. We're back to the neutral. Garuda forcing Hagiara to pop the burst. Oh, and here we go, the white, white, all the salt. I'm never gonna be able to say it correctly. Using the newly acquired uh, special move of of uh, Potemkin to send Hagiara in the corner, but Hagiara making their way out of the corner using a cross up and tries to go for the grab. Wow, the cheeky command grab attempt right there. Oh, Lord. Durada saying, nope, I'm getting out of there. Okay, getting the hard knockdown. Garuda trying to see when. Oh, good stuff. Ah, you can see uh, Garuda trying to fish for the potential wake up overdrive from. From Hagiara. And Garuda! With the optimization station, it's not gonna. Not gonna hit. Oh, but Lord! Oh man, Garuda. Really, really thinking he was gonna get the hit there. And here we go, the grab! And Garuda taking the freaking lead! Are you serious, man? Over Hagia of, of out of every... Of, of all people, you know? That is crazy! Good stuff from uh, from Garuda. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, Garuda getting that sweet, sweet hard knockdown. Just walking... Walking commandly towards Hagia. Okay, Garuda getting rid of the... Minions, unfortunately for him, he got stabbed in the back. Okay, and back to the neutral Garuda, man. Uh, having a hard time trying to... Oh, get the hit! Gets the Mega Fist. He finally gets the Pod Buster. Look at the damage! Straight into the Heat Nuggle for the wall break. Good lord. And Garuda trying to read start of the round with the 4 H. Unfortunately for Hagiara, Hagiara did not commit to it. And instead found the opening straight into the Illusion Driver. Whew. Nice air to air right there from Garuda. Goes for the Garuda impact. The white wall is so nice back that from Hagiara though. Unfortunately for him, he gets scooped by the 2K, the 2P. Garuda taking a pretty nice lead. If he wins this one, things are gonna look pretty bleak for Hagiara. A nice back dash right there from Hagiara. Man, Garuda trying to get that hard knockdown. It really seems pretty hard though. Okay, here we go. You have to block. There's only so many mix ups you can block though. Oh yeah, with the Wild Assault, a wall break for guaranteed the hard knockdown. Goes close up, tries to find the opening, goes for the Okuma Fireball, throws as many minions as possible. But here comes the Reflector. The Aegis Reflector. Hagara just content to just block it. They didn't want to overcommit. And finds the opening. Very nicely and very steadily and very non-commit com committedly, I guess. Here we go, start of the round, white wild, white wild as hole. Okay, nice jump out right there from Hagiara, reading the uh, Garuda impact attempt right there from Garuda. And we are in the corner, the best place for Hagiara currently. Yeah, trying to keep Garuda in the corner, chip away at his life as much as possible. Okay, so what's gonna happen? Uh, almost got the juggle too. Garuda definitely, uh, definitely struggling right there. Ayala looking pretty good right now. Trying to get him. Are you serious? Okay. No, oh, no white wild Romans. Uh, not what? No white wild assault for you. Okay, and here we go with Garuda reading the jump out from Hagiara and goes for the Potemkin Buster. Are you serious? The reads, man. The freaking reads. And the conditioning, too, man. These are these, these are crazy reads right there. Man, Hagiara looking pretty flustered right there. Uh, what is Hagiara gonna do? Okay, let's see how this spins out. 
Hagera, if anybody can make a comeback, it's definitely Hagera. Oh man, and here we go with the new move of, of Garuda. Nice back, back dash from Hagera though. Mm. That was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here we go with the Illusion Driver. I gotta gonna get that hard knockdown. Potentially, finally getting uh, um, around. Okay, nice Grudem. But no, a little bit too badly time. Yeah, he has mad defense, man. That is crazy. But finally, man. Finally, I gotta take it around right there. Okay. So let's see. The Garuda trying to get them. No, oh, he gets fully charged wild, wild, white, wild assault. Garuda impact. Okay, we're not gonna see a hard knockdown there, unfortunately, for Garuda. Goes for the white wild assault again. And damn it, it went so quick. We are on set points. That second round went so quickly. Just one hit, that is all that is required right there. One decent read. Ah, man, that wasn't the one, though. Garuda trying to take some, uh, some, uh, trying to, to, uh, take some risks there. Hopefully he won't live to regret it. Ah, damn it. Okay. Out of the corner. Garuda really just needs one pod buster, I feel. Ah, nah, look at the risk gauge, though. And then Garuda doesn't want to overextend. Oh, here we go with the Aegis Reflector. And Garuda Impact got the knockdown. Oh, he got the White Wild Assault. This is what I'm talking about. Not enough to kill, obviously, but still getting pretty close. We're in the danger where, yeah, one pot buster is all that is required. Ah, Lord. Okay, this is bad. Nice cross under from Hagara, but still. Garuda. Garuda on point. Oh, he's got the knockdown! Got the pot buster! Oh, he killed! Good lord! This is crazy! Garuda winning! For Yuki versus Gakko matchup, which is understandable. Okay, anyways, after this match, this is the last winner's semi-final match. After this one, we shall be moving on to the loser's bracket. Hopefully most people will have finished their matches by then, uh, because none of them have yet to finish. So yeah, uh, hopefully after this one, we will have uh, all of the losers bracket ready. That should be fine though. Anyways. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and Moogie getting hit by the uh, guard point right there from Cafe. Moogie fighting for his life, trying to get rid of every single uh, of every single minion on the stage and doing a good job of doing so. And here we go, Moogie with the close-up pressure. Goes for Rainwater. Trying to find a reaction from Caffeine. Caffeine using the guard point again, man. Good lord. Okay, Moogie again, man, with the shimmy attempts. Goes for the grab, the cheeky grab, the cheeky grab. Very nicely done. Get on to round number two. What's caffeine gonna do? Look nice, just blocked right there. <laughs> Mookie harassing caffeine with the sending peak. Oh lord! Nice grab from caffeine. Gonna get the side switch. Get the hidden though, but couldn't quite get the combo after. Wow, gets the juggle, and this is gonna be a hard knockdown. Let's see. Goes for the tab dust. But Boogie, man, he was on point. Gets the grab. This time around, it's you who has to be in the corner. Oh, Lord. The cafe looking good. Gets the kill with the OTG. Good stuff from Caffeine putting one round on the board. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, Kevin getting the hit with the minion. And here we go with Moogie in the corner. Gets grabbed again. And getting hit by the tab dust, man. This is the caffeine specialty. He loves doing it right after the OTG. Really catches you off guard. 
He tried to go for a fake tap dust right here, using the Roman cancel to quick uh, cancel out and using a low in order to make it seem to Mugi that he was going to go for tap dust, but in fact going for a low. Uh, but unfortunately he had a missed timing there. But still a nice attempt. And on to the next battle. Nice 6 period there for Mugi. Especially for him, Caffeine was already blogging in the air. Let's see how this spins out. Nice guard point from Caffeine. Goes for the low this time around. Oh, and gets a freaking grab attempt. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, Mugi getting hit by the Akuma Fireball and the minions. Caffeine yeah, getting all sorts of juggles right there. Tries to go for the grab. Goes for the 2D counter hit. To be able to get a pretty nice juggle. Ah, good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, uh, the minion is on deck. Tab dust and Roman cancel for the kill. Wow, things are looking pretty bleak for Mugi. Oh, Mugi might want to switch to Naguro Ryuki, though. Anyways, he finally got something going. And very nice combo. Look at this combo. Good lord. Not a lot of damage, not gonna lie, but at least he gets the wall break. And therefore, the... Uh, the, the What's called the... Um, read the freaking name. The um, positive bonus. Uh, okay. Here we go. The grab... Boogie with the optimization station. Look at this. Pretty decent amount of damage right there. Okay. Moogie being relentless. Definitely wanting to have this round. Gets the kill. Should be able to get it. Yeah, gets the kill with the OTV. With a perfect as well. Damn. That was such a long round, but still Moogie managed to get the win with a perfect. Okay, here we go. The fart. L. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. <sighs> Big 2D counter hit right there from uh, Caffeine. With a very far snail, by the way. Ah! There we go with the white, the yellow Roman cancel. Uh, Caffeine trying to bait the grab attempt right there. But Mugi not biting, gonna get a full combo in the corner. A little bit far though. Here's the overhead. Yes, the, wow, the confirms and Moogie evening things out, putting one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, one match apiece. Let's see if Moogie can furthermore secure his dominance and within the gap. A nice jumping S right there from Moogie using the Wild Assault to extend his pressure in the combo. No more burst gate for you though. Ah, it still gets the hit. It was so far. Ken Mugi should be able to get the kill and does with the wall break. Okay, so Caffeine, what are you gonna do this time around? The adaptation for Mugi Wiz is so far working pretty good. Caffeine getting the hit. The low should be able to get the Illusion Driver. Illusion Driver! Good damage for Caffeine. Definitely looking dominant in this current match. Uh, this current round. Gets the hit. The kill with the grab with a perfect nevertheless. Uh, that's a song I haven't heard in a long time. Dance theme in Street Fighter 4. <laughs> Good lord. Anyways, here we go to close up pressure and the juggle. Okay, Caffeine getting uh, the opening with the Roman cancel. Should be able to get the wall break and does. Secures the hard dog down using the wall assault. And is just content to just. Yeah. To just uh, zone. Okay, Caffeine. Up two to one. Moogie might want to change characters. I don't know. Nope. Sticking to him is his guns. And rightfully so. Pretty sure the uh, the Jacko versus Nagoriyuki matchup is probably not very easy. Okay, here we go with Moogie trying to bait Caffeine into pressing a button. Okay, Caffeine almost getting the juggle, but at least gets some more real estate space in order to start their zoning game. But Mugi man, closing the gap, preventing Caffeine from uh, having enough space to start her game plan. But 
Caffeine using the burst and the newly acquired uh, space that it, it, it granted uh, them. Dan uses it to start. Oh, Lloyd gets the bait on the burst. Are you serious? Ah, that's unfortunate. Oh, and nice air to air grab right there from Mugi. Gotta go for the tap dust. This time around, Caffeine ready to block. And man, what the freaking lord. Mugi using rainwater exactly how it's intended right there. Getting the kill. That being said, Caffeine is currently in the lead in terms of score. Okay, so. Ah, nice jump in right there. From Mugi gets the hit using the snail. Man, and Mugi with the lows. Full combo in the corner. Doesn't do a lot of damage though, but ma. Okay, finally Mugi forcing Caffeine to pop the Yellow Ruin cancel. What? Caffeine popping the burst here? That is... Oh yeah, of course they do. I didn't need to, I'm sorry. I thought they were in the lead uh, round-wise. But yeah, Caffeine definitely had to pop the burst there. Or they would have lost the match. That being said, very nice decision, regardless, because right now Caffeine is on the verge of taking this round. Yeah. Caffeine will definitely want to take their distance. That being said, man, Mugi. Mugi finding the opening, and we are going down to the wire. Last match of, uh, well, this set. We have two matches apiece. A perfect tie. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Ooh, that was a huge counter hit right there for Mugi. Forcing Caffeine to pop the burst. Okay, nice confirms right there from Mugi. Goes for the low, gets the uh, the wall splat. Could have went for the uh, the overdrive, I think. That might have killed, probably. Ah, nice jump in. Oh, from Caffeine. And unfortunately for Caffeine. Uh, Mugi was on point. Notice that the throw attempt had whiffed. Poor Roman cancelled into a grab for the kill. Here we go with the grab from Caffeine. Goes for a fake cross up. Could not get the juggle though. And here we go with the jump in and the Axel Bomber into the tornado. Caffeine just popping the 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 reverse screen. The wild reverse. Wow, what what? What was that? Oh, and the back dash from Moogie sniffing that Caffeine was gonna go for a grab attempt. Okay, nice stuff from Caffeine. Ah, man. Such at a strange angle that he cannot kill them. Okay, nice stuff. Oh, air to air right there from Moogie. Ah, he gets the hit. And goes for the grab, and this is gonna be it. Both. Uh, both. Wait. My bad. I didn't update the player match. This is the loser's briquettes. Okay, good to go. Sorry for the wait. Mofu Mofu versus Roy, and first thing that Roy does is run up straight to his opponent and attempt to grab. <laughs> very, very Roy-like uh, choice right there, if I might say. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Roy trying to get out of the corner. Roy has been playing extremely good recently. Not that he played bad, usually, but he's been... Uh, Really, really grinding a lot, trying to uh, make his soul reach new heights. And he's definitely showing, especially with his recent tournament results. And here we go, the Volcanic Viper, Roy going for a save jump. Get it! Oh, yeah, this is gonna be death. Bye bye. Grab, boom! Yeah. Tyrant! Ring! And the first match goes to Roy. Well, not the first match, the first round. Goes to Roy. Let's see how Mufumufu is gonna handle this storm. We shall see. There we go. Big forest counter hit though from Roy. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Goes for a safe jump. Ooh, doesn't get. Ooh, actually catches the back there. 
Probably Tyrant Rave right now for the hard knock deck. Knock down. Let's see how this spins out. Big jump in right there from Roy. He, he didn't have any bar to Roman cancel and extend. And no, uh, Mafu, Mafu is still getting hit by the wild. Bro, you hate to see it. Good stuff from Roy. Roy has the Karas. The Karas. What is the Karas? Dear sir. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. No, oh, Lord. Here we go with the knockdown. And unfortunately for Mofu got hit. Ah, the Karas cancel. My bad. Yeah, 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 he does. Of course. Of course. It's Roy we're talking about, yo. <laughs> Roy definitely been uh, grinding them, uh, them soul Karas cancels indeed. <clears throat> And indeed, however, that being said, Mofu Mofu is no slouch, definitely up uh, for a fight, definitely putting a good one as well, but Roy does have a hard knockdown right now, big opportunity for them, goes for the Fafnir, and here we go, it's mixed time, oh man, baits the, the, the yellow Roman cancel out, good stuff, and gives the, land, the jump in, into the Roman cancel, into the wall splat for the kill, good stuff from Roy let's see how this spins out yeah I was thinking like in Japanese in my head for some reason Fubu I'm sorry I was thinking Karasu as in crow <laughs> I thought a little bit too much <laughs> but yeah he definitely have them you know, Kara cancels indeed oh lord and Roy, man, not committing straight away to uh, lending because he knew that Mofu Mofu was going to wait for them. There we go, the white wild assaults. WWA. Okay, Mofu Mofu getting that hard knockdown. Oh, for sure, yeah. Roy definitely have them fundamentals. Uh, he does have this very eccentric side to him in the sense that he loves to DP as well. <laughs> Especially in block strings at moments where you really don't expect him to but other than that he's a uh, very very uh he's very clean i'd say very clean and he has very nice neutral as well and it feels like he doesn't abuse what makes uh soul very strong unlike other soul players which unfortunately for him is kind of detrimental i feel but the way that he plays soul is very i'd say respectful and also very clean that's how i would characterize Roy's uh, gameplay of Soul. Because he could definitely play him a lot more dirty, you know? And have better results, in my opinion. But uh, he plays him very clean, very respectful, if I might say, you know? I don't know how to say it exactly, but... Anyway, that being said, here we go with Roy getting the grab. Pushing Mofu Mofu ever so slightly in the corner. But you can definitely feel when he's getting angry, though. The rate of his, uh, of his uh, you know, wake-up DPs and whatnot definitely increases. <laughs> The more you anger him, the less clean he plays, though. This is kind of funny, though, when it happens. Anyways, right now, uh, Roy is definitely in the lead, so you can see that he's very, uh, very distressed, very not stressed, very calm, you know, not overextended. But the more it goes, oh no! Mofu Mofu is timing his uh, pot buster attempt. Ah, that was, that's a heartbreaker right there. He is gonna get a hard knockdown and Mofu Mofu using the Heavenly Putt Buster to get out of harm's way. But that being said, yeah, Mofu Mofu. Yeah, forced to use some bar to get out of harm's way. No! Mofu Mofu missed timing his uh, Putt Buster attempt and that would have won him the round, by the way. Ah, uh, this is so unfortunate. It's not over, but okay, one more chance. Okay, good stuff from Mofu Mofu. See how this spins out. Ah, oh, man, and the bandit revolver for the kill. Roy on set point, actually, on the verge of eliminating Mofu Mofu from the tournament. See how this pans out. Whew. Here we go with the knockdown. Mofu getting the confirms. Ooh, getting a big Garuda. Oh no, not like this. Not like this, sir. Ah, big bandit bringer, though. With the follow-up, giving that it was a, uh, a counter hit. Let's see how this spins out. Nice grab from Mofu Mofu. Goes for the immediate Garuda impact. Waiting for a reaction from Roy. Good stuff from Mofu Mofu. Not out of this yet. Gets one ground. Okay, one more chance. 
for more, for more food. Ooh, he gets hit by the forest kind of right though. Again with the forest. Nice grab. Mofu with the pot buster. Here we go. Okay, wake up DP. Here we go. DP incoming. DP is gonna come. Or not, yeah, that's not the best way. Oh, and the heavenly pot buster for the kill. Mofu, Mofu on points. Okay, now, now you can look forward to Roy playing a lot less clean. I can guarantee you. Roy is gonna unleash the beast now. <laughs> Well, the closer he is to getting eliminated, the, the more YOLO he's gonna play. So let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh lord, man, move, move in the reeds though, that was pretty sick, not gonna lie. Not too far for the Groot impact though. Okay, Roy being a little bit more mobile now. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, good stuff. Oh, ah, here we go with the DPs. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're gonna see a lot more DPs from there on. The more Mofu Mofu is making a comeback, the more DPs from Roy you're gonna see. I can guarantee you. Which is always fun, by the way. Ah, man. Almost got the back dash. Ooh, nice going low this time around. Not enough to kill. Nah, nah, not enough. But this is gonna be pretty close. Eat on it! More Roy with the... Ooh! A Roy's back dash getting caught right there. Ooh, gets the punish on the... On the same K bud, unfortunately, for Mofu Mofu. Roy had some Roman cancel bar to use right there. Ah, uh, nice. Whiff punish from Mofu Mofu. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a big jump in. Ah, uh, yeah. Roy trying. Yeah, with the DP. Here we go. Big jump in right there from Roy. And gets a big Volcanic Viper as well. Goes for the low, and we're gonna get a Tyrant Rave. Tyrant! Ring! Gotakua! You don't need! And here we go with the empty grab. And just like this, yo! Okie dokie, breads and cookie. La, 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 la. Okay, we're good to go. On to the second. Match of the losers, Hakure Lemu. Definitely looking pretty clean. Got hit right there though by Whip Steven. Let's see how this spins out. Steven trying to get that knockdown. Gets the forest. It's as good and even gets the burst. Big, big, big burst made from even Steven. We go with the hard knockdown. Even go. Ooh, trying to get the back dash. Hakure Lemu getting the grab. Oh, delays the two S and catches Steven. Uh, trying to either jump out or back dash out of it. Okay, here we go to Wild Throw for the kill. Good stuff from Steven. Takes the first round. And on to the next battle. Here we go to jump in. Hakure on point, man, with the punish. Should be able to get the wall break. And does get it. Look at this 2S again. Trying to delay it, probably, to get a reaction from Steven and hitting some, uh, oh! Kakure Lemu with the corner carry. Goes for the blue re Roman cancel, fortunately for him. Steven was aware of what was going on, blocks perfectly, perfectly well. Steven gets the knockdown, goes for the close S. Okay, oh lord. Yeah, but the pressure has definitely been ongoing. Hakure with the blocks, yo. Gets the kill with a DP, yo. Wake up, DP. DP and block strings. Roman cancel into side switch into wall splat into death. That was sick stuff from Hakure. Okay, big Fafnir right there from Steven. Gets the close pre sub pressure. Now for the side switch. Unfortunately for Hakure. Steven found the way out. Goes for the extension using some tension bar. Should be able to get a hard knockdown. With the safe jump. And goes for the second hit low this time around to get Hakure off guard. And in the end, Steven taking the first match. Very nicely done. And we don't have a connection error. Perfect. Okay, let's see how this pans out. 
Nice bag dash right there for um even not to get hit by the um uh you call it I forgot by the fireball I'll call it. Anyways, here we go with Hakune forcing Steven to pop the burst. By the stun itch. Okay, nice grab right there from Hakure Lemu. Not enough to kill, but does get the kill with the follow up 2S. Okay, finally Hakure Lemu taking one round. Gets it by the 2S though. And even Steven oh, missed times his grab attempt though. Hakure. Oh, getting the closest counter hit. This is huge, by the way. Straight into the Ride the Lightning to get the guaranteed hard knockdown as well as the positive bonus. We go with the jump in. And the DP has been baited. Ah, big bandit revolver. Oh, wow. Ah, Steven pressing some buttons right there and finding the opening. Okay, big Fafnir. You're in limbo. You have to hold on to the pressure. And this should be it. Yep, this is it. <coughs> okay, Steven. Getting the second round. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Okay, Steven with the close-up pressure. Ah, oh, Lord. Still gets the gun flame, but gets it by the six period there from Lemu. Here we go. The ah, food are dark. How could I finding the opening? Ah oh, man, and the DP from Steven. Smelling the, the pressure right there. Uh, that being said, very big food red arc right there from Hakure Lemu gets the hard knockdown. One more hit is all that is required. Wow, what the hell was that? I don't know if it was intentional, but it definitely threw uh, Steven off guard. Hakure takes the second match. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go, the counter hit from Hakure Lemu. Trying to find the hidden. Fortunately for him, he got grabbed. Nice forest counter hit. Hakure getting the side switch. Into the wild assault. For the guaranteed hard knockdown. <sighs> Big food for dark and again Hakure, yo! Getting the kill with the ride the lightning. Good stuff, yo. How could they looking very clean, very strong? Not gonna lie. I'll get big bandit bringer. Okay, finally with Steven finding something out there. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Go boom! With the tyrant rave. Let's see. Okay, nice reset pressure right there from Steven going for the grab. And the low, and the samurai, yeah, how could I probably not gonna burst at this point? Uh, gets dispatched with a perfect Steven not going down without a fight. Nice, nice with punish on the sending 6H uh, right there. Ah, oh, man. Ah, uh, no, that was an unfortunately time stunnage. Not stunnage, uh, what's it called? I forgot the name. Ah, uh, good lord. And here we go with Steven and the uh, wall splat. Woo. Oh, big punish. This is going to be a huge combo, by the way. Big corner carry combo. Ah, uh, you can see him delay. I smell a DP, though. Or not. Ooh, big 6PO! Oh no, and Hakure going for the tap dust for the kill! Hakure, yo! Hakure taking the lead 2 to 1, yo! Good lord! Okay, let's see what Steven is going to do. Things are looking pretty dire for him. Goes for the grab, gets it. Goes for another grab reset. But man, I could hate with the DP man says get off me right away, sir. Okay. Even using the wild assault to get that guaranteed hard knockdown. 
Cross up and again Hagrid with the DP. <sighs> and the DP from Simon, who could have gotten it though, but this is not gonna be that good. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff from Steven not committing to anything. Okay, and on to the next battle. Even tried to whiff punish. Again with the DP, man. This is gonna be your downfall, I feel. Better be careful. Ah. With that being said, Steven with the grab yet again. Trying to go for another reset, but this time around, Hakure. Ooh, going air to air, fails to get the juggle, though you had to see it. Big Volcanic Viper from Steven. Oh lord, and the wall freaking bump, man. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Okay, Hagari should be able to take it. Yeah, Steven's probably not gonna burst at this time. At this point in time. Okay, this is set point, actually. Steven absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. Oh, big counter hit. Steven forced above the burst. Well, just guard, though. Yeah, man. Uh, Hakure harassing Steven from the other side of the of the stage. Okay, Steven only has so many chances left. Well, to be fair, the damage output of Saul is not to be trifled with. I feel a DP. Big stun nipper right there. Ooh! Oh, and finally, here we go with the bait on the DP. Ah, oh, man. Here we go with the... Oh, no! The Pudra Dragon actually went all the way in. One more chance. One more chance. And this time around, Steven going low. He should be able to seal the deal. Yeah. And here we go. Whew, that was so close. Steven still in the race. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this spins out. Wow. Even Steven. Okay, big forest right there. Again, man, I told you that this is gonna be your downfall. Steven is starting to pick up on the on the DP use right there. <laughs> and using his own. Yeah man, drops it though, but gives the closest counter hit. Okay, let's see. Always nice to see Soul Cook. Indeed, indeed. Especially Especially a soul controlled by Steven. Man. This dude though. Okay, let's see. Big 6p. Good stuff from Hakure though. Hakure definitely no slouch. Definitely uh, giving Steven a run for his money. Ooh, that was an unfortunately time stun dipper though. Straight into the Tyrant Rave. We are on set point by the way. If Steven wins this one, he sends Hakure out of the tournament. Oh lord. Ah, big bandit. <sighs> ah. Nice jump out right there from Hakure. Hakure being very, very, very patient. It's not over till it's over. Here we go with the grab. Ah, lord. Oh, and the grab. This should be it. Uh, Hakure deciding not to go for the extension. Afraid that Steven was going to potentially burst or something, I suppose. That is unfortunate. He probably could have just went with the killing combo right there. Uh, I hope he doesn't live to regret it. And the bandit revolver. And this is it. Hakure out of the tournament, man. Sent out a uh, 3-2. Grab myself a cup of a cup of water. I'll be right back. Again, so far so good for Hayara. Straight into the Illusion Driver for the kill. Takes the first round. 
Very, very nicely done. And on to the second round. Oh, the big gun flames right there. Roy tried to uh, dispose of all of these pesky minions as quickly as possible. Gets it by the 6 though. And juggle into the corner again. Almost got the the wall um, the wall bounce. And again into the Illusion Driver. Illusion Driver! Ooh, not enough to kill. Okay, so Roy in Dire Straits right there. Gets it by the sending uh, P for the kill. With a perfect as well. Good lord. Hagiala definitely cooking today. <laughs> Hagiala not happy of having been sent to the loser's bracket because of uh, a Potemkin. <laughs> but what can I say, man? Konsume, man. Konsume is... He's made from another cloth, man. It's crazy. Okay, anyways, here we go. With Hagiala getting that... Uh, that knockdown. But... Roy waking up and forcing the burst of Hagiala. But being gradually escorted in the corner. Big jump in from Roar. Get some more space to get something started. And we're in neutral territory. Pe people actually play neutral in Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs> okay, good stuff right there from... Oh, yeah, I guess the grab. And the side switch. And the empty low. Into death. Good stuff from Hagera. Hagera looking pretty clean right now. Roy looking a little bit confused, not gonna lie. And go straight inside into a... Run straight into a 5H. Roy goes very deep right there to get the grab. Press to get another grab. Oh, nice read from Hagera with the backdash and the grab. To get the side switch. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Nice blocks from Hagen. I really thought he was going to get it. Uh, uh, he's going to get scooped, but he actually eventually got scooped. Roy getting the first round of this, uh, the second round of the second match, actually. Roy absolutely needs this one. If he doesn't want uh, Hagen to go with a pretty significant lead. Ah, uh, nah. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite get the, uh, the cross up right there. Nice air to air from Hagara even gets the juggle. Wants to keep Roy in the corner. Fortunately, Roy said, I've had it. You are going in the corner now. And look at the damage. Oh no! Drops it. No, not like this. Roy. Oh, what's going on? Okay, good. Okay. Ah, and I gotta getting the bait on the yellow Roman cancel. Goes straight into the illusion driver for the kill. Hagala looking very, very, very strong, not gonna lie. What is Roy gonna do? What is Roy gonna do? Master. Oh, again, here we go. Roy definitely needs this set right there if he wants to have a chance to stay into the tournament. Oh, but Roy looking very aggressive, man. Right now, you can see right now, Roy is not happy. He plays a little bit different. Goes for the grab. Goes for way more, like, risky outcomes. Yeah. You know, see, I tried to go for a whiff punish, but it's fine. It still worked in the end. With a perfect, nevertheless. God, I want to play Bloody Roar. I love this game. Anyways. Here we go with the grab from Hagera. Getting the cross-up, by the way. Ah, uh, nice air grab from Hagara. And Hagara getting the... Uh, the kill with the Illusion Driver. One more match in order to win this set and send Roy home. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, big Fafnir though. That was the Fafnir of the day. Look at the damage. That's so fine, though. Remove the close-up pressure. I get that blocking correctly. Gets the jump in, though. Goes for the empty, though. Yeah, I get that trying to sniff that yellow room and cancel out. Oh, wow, that backdash on the part S was quite scary, not gonna lie. That being said, Hagia does not have any 
Minion bar. Well, it's gradually coming back anyways. Don't see. Oh, big bandit bringer. Ah, Lord. Not there. Ooh. And Roy waking up with the DP. I don't think it's going to be enough to kill. That's no, not. Ooh, Joe. I ain't gets the grab. It's not over till it's over. I gotta go in with the empty low. Try to go for. Ooh, no! And just like this, yo. Roy putting one on the board. Roy played out of his mind during this set. I'm not gonna lie. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Okay, uh, Roy's still in it. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, for I gotta pop the burst. Let's see, let's see. Bandage indeed. Okay, nice back there for there from Hagera. Not want to get too much of the heat. Ah, he read the revolver correctly, but man, this move recovers so freaking fast. Here we go with the forever illusion driver. Hagera definitely fishing for that yellow Roman cancel though. Okay, good blocks. Yes, the grab. Ah, but didn't expect to be hit by a Legion Driver, though. And the kill as well, yo. I got on set point. Is he going to be able to seal the deal? Ah, nice 2k 2d right there. I got to go in for the fake cross of Bravoy was definitely on point. Oh, nice 6p from Roy. Oh, and nice just just blocked from uh, from Haga. That was good stuff. Okay, here we go. It's time to block, sir. Wow. Nice standing here right there. Ah, oh, man, again with the standing key, catching Hagela, trying to get out of the corner. Catching the backdash of Hagela as well. Good lord, Roy, man. Roy, 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 Roy. The, aggress the aggressiveness of this man. It's crazy. Oh, big 2S counter hit. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, big puff near. And big gun flame. Man, Roy out getting the grab. One more hit is all that's needed. And goes for the grab again. This is gonna be it. Man, Roy working on his comeback right now with a perfect never low. That's good. Freaking lord. Okay, the next set is gonna be the last set of this current set. Well, the last match of this current set. So let's see if who's going to come out on top. Who is going to make their way to the uh, loser semi-final? We shall see. Okay, big vortex right there from Roy. Yeah, Roy definitely playing out of his mind right now. He's angry, that's why. He unleashed the Super Saiyan mode right now. He's, he's super pissed. <laughs> Anyways, here we go, the close-up. Uh, the close S. Ah, Roy going for the low. Roy with the wall break. Oh no, don't whiff, don't whiff that. Okay, nice sending P right there. Hagiala with the minion onslaught. Ah, ooh. Wow, man, how could you possibly block that? But still, just blocking the first, like, uh, aerial hit that uh, Roy did. Hagiala is a freaking reaction god, good stuff. I would have definitely got hit by it. Ah, man. Yeah. Look for them. Roy used a bandit bringer to delay his landing. And, oh, ah, man. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Ah, is that it? This is an ah, guilty gear moment. Yes, it is. Ah, guilty gear. Good stuff, bro. Outcome is going to be the same. If it's not, if Jackal wins this one, then the, the loser semifinal is going to be Jackal versus Saul yet again. <laughs> Which is gonna be pretty fun if it's the game. And here we go with the sweep. Right uh, starting the match. The big vortex right there. 
Ah, and very nice spacing from Caffeine. Uh, how do you say? Punishing the uh, the Bandit Bringer attempt. Oh, again, here we go with the close up pressure. Steven trying to get a reaction right there from Caffeine. Oh, Lord. Nice guard point right there from Caffeine. Struggling to stay alive. Struggling not to get exploded by any random move that uh, Saul might throw at any given time. Okay, nice use of the the jumping uh, S right there to dispose of the of the dominions. That being said, uh, Steven is in. Uh, Steven trying to yeah push Caffeine ever so slightly in the corner. A uh, Caffeine yeah on the on the verge of getting afflicted by a negative penalty though. Here we go. Ah, uh, that was good stuff from Caffeine. Ah, uh, again with the danger, yo. Ooh, the Vortex almost hit. That was sick. And Steven going for the grab. Going for the yeah, instead. Bye bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's not actually. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. My bad. I lied. I double lied. First round goes to Steven. Even Steven. Even Steven. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. Ah! Steven getting jumped on right now. And Caffeine getting the corner carry. Bays the DP. Gets the, the knockdown and also forces the burst. Steven, man, going ham with the DPs, though. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh! Big 6S, man, has been counter hit for counter hit. For days, but eventually Caffeine confirms his own counter hit and goes straight into the Legion Driver. Goes for the grab and the Roman extension, and this should do if he gets the wall splat, which should be the case. Yeah, it is it. Good stuff from Caffeine. Let's see how this spins out. And Caffeine Force, man. Forced to pop the 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 reflector right there. What a blue roaming cancel that was! That was sick. Good stuff from Caffeine. Caffeine, yeah, not wanting to get hit by a wake up BB. Ah, uh, good stuff. Gets the confirm. Forces Steven to pop the burst. Ah, uh, nice grab right there from Caffeine. Caffeine, yo, taking the lead 1 to 0. Are we gonna see uh, a Saul versus Jacko uh, loser semifinal? That would be pretty funny. Anyways, we we'll go with Caffeine doing a good job of really trying to contain Steven. Oh lord. Good stuff from Caffeine. But Steven really trying to navigate around all of these minions next to Mission Impossible. No. It'll be too far to get the hit using the Wild Assault. Oh, nice blocks from Caffeine though. Unfortunately for him, he got hit by the Forbidden Starter. Look at the damage. And this is death, by the way. Yeah, this is death. Is it? No, it's not the drop of Steven. Goes by the wild assault, the wild, the wild, the, the wild throw into the tab does for the kill. Okay, Steven not out of this yet by a long run. Good stuff. And here we go with Caffeine Force Pop the Burst. Almost got hit by the Vortex. But nice block. Ah, oh, man. Beautiful timing for the, the Burst. Getting the side switch with Caffeine, forcing them in the corner. And Caffeine waking up with the Illusion Driver. Not enough to kill though. Yeah, you can see Caffeine not wanting to overextend because literally one hit would be would be death right there. Whoa! I almost got the kill and the wild throw for the kill. Bye bye. Good stuff from Steven. It's one on the board. We have a tie. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie is gonna take this one. <laughs> Both wishing, 
whiffing but buttons right there. Nice use of the revolve right there to catch the uh, backdash attempts from Cafe. See, we're not using his burst just to be sure that he gets a positive bonus and the chance to potentially burst during this uh, this set. Well, during this match, actually. Good stuff from Steven. Steven on the verge of uh, taking this uh, this match. Here we go, deposit bonus. Let's see how this spins out. Steven just spending his, his time in, in the air. Not one to have to deal with the minions, and rightfully so. Oh, big 6H, 6P. And the bar from Caffeine made it so that he was able to get his turn back. Ooh, that was an unfortunately timed DP, but fortunately for Steven, Caffeine could not actually punish it greatly. Because of the awkward positioning that he was into, probably. Oh man, and the blocks! The blocks from Steven. Ah, Captain first popped the burst. And the big 6P right there. From Cafe. Let's see. Back to the neutral, big counter hit right there from Cafe. Ah, Cafe getting hit by the DP though. And Steven in his signature bandit revolver in neutral. Okay, should have enough boar right there to force a mix upon Cafe. And here we go, the mix is on. Ah, unfortunately, the uh, the faultless defense probably pushed him too far for him to be in his comfortable, uh, like optimal, um, Mix up like positioning, I guess. And man, Steven with the relentless attack offense. Uh, I Definitely think we, uh, Steven will be making his way to the loser semifinal. After this match, I do believe that we will be moving on to the winner's final. The poor two dudes have been waiting for quite some time, I'm not gonna lie. Today is uh, looking to be quite a lengthy bro joke up, if I might say. We've been uh, alive for about... How long? For about 2 hours and 30 minutes. So yeah, this is definitely a long... And we're still not done. <laughs> this is definitely a long... Um, a long bro joke up, which is fine. I mean, this week is Evo Japan, so might as well try to rally a uh, maximum of people up to... Oh lord! The raids! The raids! And the punish right there from Steven. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Good stuff from Cafe. And Cafe straight into the Illusion Driver. Does not want to go down without a fight. Oof. Thankfully, he got the wall break. Yeah, the range of the, the Illusion Driver. Where the wall break is really really bad it's super hard to have it unless you're completely like stuck on the wall literally there's here we go ah big bandit and steven going for the low kevin probably gonna burst or not okay things are looking pretty bleak i'm not gonna lie uh Okay, okay, good stuff from Caffeine. Managed to get the comeback using the freaking. Oh lord, good stuff from Caffeine. I already thought he was done for. Okie dokie, but we are still on set point. Caffeine absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay in the corner, in the, in the tournament, in the corner. Thankfully, he would not want to stay in the corner. But, anyways, you got. You catch the drift. A oh, big far S, well, Ford S counter hit. That was huge. But Cafe with the side switch. Ah, I guess it's by the DP, of course. Cafe not checking them reset attempts from uh, Steven. 
They're pretty hard to see though. And just like this, man, Steven eliminates Caffeine out of the turn. His uh, signature Nagori Yuki, but I kind of understand the reasoning behind this. Yeah, zoning is infinitely easier with uh, Axel compared to Nagori Yuki, but then again, Nagori Yuki is, does have a lot of pretty useful tool for pretty much any matchup you might, you know, face, I feel. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, Mugi knows best. I'm pretty sure he's, he's a lot more knowledgeable in the matter than I am. Uh, both losers quarters also have Jacko versus Solid Crate. I know, right? Man, the Brojo Cup is the Jacko Cup, really. The, the real name of the Brojo Cup is Jacko Cup. <laughs> we have so many Jacko players all the time. But yeah, yeah, that was a huge coincidence. I mean, uh, both of the quarters were Sol versus Jacko. Like, what are the odds? That was pretty funny. Anyways, we're going to go with uh, the Garuda, also known as Konsume, taking the first round. Let's see how this spins out. We're good. Mugi! Going very, very carefully. Regular customers, exactly. The tryhards. <laughs> I'm really grateful to them, though, because uh, they bring, like, participants as well. And they're overall very, very strong, so... I'd like to believe that it's thanks to the Brojo Cup that both Hagiara and, uh, and Caffeine became so strong. With the fact that they, like, literally every single week that participate exclusively to the Brojo Cup. And I'd like to... I think that I'm one of the, uh, well, tournament organizers, uh, Mr. Axel. Hopefully. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go with the schmixes. Big wake up golden burst right there from Garuda. Okay, nice stuff from Mugi. No, miss times is standing. Yes, no. Here we go, the jump in, though. No 2H. Haha, <laughs> the flick. Okay, here we go, the jump. What the hell is going on? Nice confirm right there from Mugi. It could have went very bad very quick. Not enough to wall for the wall splat, though. Ah, oh, Lord. Here we go, the slider head. And it's a big Garuda impact in your face while you try to back that. Okay, here we go. Wow. Garuda, man. Consome with the, the freaking confirms. Goes for the white wall assault. Keeps the pressure on. The triple Garuda impact and still gets the kill at the end. Good stuff from Konsome. Okay, uses the hammer fall in order to catch the bag death from Mugi. Oh, Lord. Okay. Mugi with the front Fukyo. Catching Konsome flinching a bit. You know what? I'm going to call him Konsome. It's going to be easier. Uh, here we go. Okay. And Consume forced to pop the yellow room cancel to get out of pressure. But it is. Yeah, Nagoriki pressure coming up. Ah, and Mugi, man. With the tap dust. And freaking Consume is still thinking that he can bring it back, yo. Okay, well, he believes. Owen, oh, he believes. Owen, oh, he believes. Ah, oh, Lord. Man, Mugi, man. Mugi has been blocking for the past freaking five minutes. Our oh, Lord. And here we go with the tap dust for the kill. Konsome up to the zero on the verge of sending Mugi out of the tournament. Good Lord. Does Konsome have what it takes to send Mugi in such a dominant and clean fashion? We shall see. Ooh, big uh, golden burst right there. And Garuda with the delayed butt fall. Big Garuda impact right there. Ah! Konsome trying to schmix right there. Well, to reset actually. But Mugi on points, knowing that Konsume was probably gonna go for it. Punishes accordingly. Ooh. <laughs> this is the reenactment of his his uh, fight against uh, who was it against? Uh, I think it was Caffeine. 
That was a reenactment, exactly. Or how get up, maybe. They turn to get the W for sure, man. Oh, big 6 HS counter hit, though. Look at the damage, man. Two hits, like 30% of your life that's gone. Consume it. Yeah, taking his time doesn't want to overextend. Just wants that that jump. That, not the jump, that, uh, that knockdown. Big wall splat. Moogie staying alive. Oh! Things are looking bleak. Ah, uh, and Moogie, man, with the jump out, knowing that Consumer would have went for a grab there. That was sick stuff for Moogie. Good stuff. Uh-uh. We go with the clone catching the backdash. And Moogie with the confirms, yo. Getting some tick pressure in. Ah, man, too far to get the standing S, though. Ah, this should be it. Yeah, it is. Boogie bring it back with a perfect two, yo. Two to one. Let's see if uh, Quantum can gather himself and potentially bring it back. Well, he's currently in the lead, though, so he, he only needs one more, uh, one more match. Ooh, the whiff, though. That was close. Ah, uh, the badly timed Mega Fist. And here we go with the wall splat. Man, Garuda, man. Oh, Konsome with the pot buster. Not enough to kill, but the Roman Castle did the trick. We get stuff from Konsome on the verge of sending Mugi in the losers. Big 6P gets the follow up heat knuckle as well. Gets a bag dash. Oh, too far to get the 6 H as well. Nice whiff punish from uh, Nice whiff punish. Ah oh, man, the tick pressure is so big. Wow, the 6 p there. Okay, white wild assault for the save. Ah oh, man, and Consome ends up taking it three to one in a very, very uh wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Yeah, we're good. All good, all good. The pressure was pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie on to the next battle. Roy versus Steven is gonna be a battle of the gorillas. Okay, and very nice use of the bandit bringer to go over the sweep that Roy was intending to hit. Steven with Steven taking a pretty hefty life lead on the verge of taking the first round and eventually does. Good stuff from Steven. Let me give you, uh, let me be, be nice and give you some more descriptions here. So, Roy is the blue, yeah, he is. Blue Saul. And Steven is the red Saul. The Battle of the Swingers, exactly. It is exactly what it is. <laughs> Let's see how this spins out. The Battle of the Forest. <laughs> and the Wake Up DP, so forth. Okay, nice call out right there from Steven. And neutral is real. Never let anybody tell you otherwise. And here we go, nice just defend from Steven though. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Oh, and the bait! No, it's Steven drops it here to see it. And Roy takes this opportunity to bring it back. Gets the wall break, probably. Yes, he does. Okay, let's see. And Roy just like this brings it back, yo. Good stuff from Roy. Puts one on the board. 1-0 for now. 
That was a sick comeback. It definitely looked very one-sided for Steven at some point. But at some point, actually, uh, the, the tide definitely shifted. We're getting some pretty nice reads. I knew it. I knew it. He wanted to have the last word. I knew it. I knew he was going to wake up with the DP. Okay, here we go. The wall bounce. The dust loop. And here we go, the Volcanic Viper, and the Wall Splat for the kill. Even Steven! Steven taking this first round. Roy not out of this yet, goes for a save jump. Ah, big closest though from Steven. Forcing the burst from Roy. Good stuff from Steven. Gonna get a full combo. Into the wall break. And here we go with the wall break, into the hard knockdown. Man, Roy catching them back dash and gets the freaking follow up with the revolver. Into the Roman cancel, Roy. Looking pretty good right now. A but nice swift punish from Steven though. Goes for Fafnir to keep the pressure on going. Steven with the extension station combo. Yeah, currently unfazed. Didn't get hit a single time during this uh, this round. And I think it's gonna finish with a perfect, yeah, it is. Okay, Steven entering in uh in due uh in due form, I guess. Good stuff from Roy. Already for Steven to pop the birds to get out of the pressure. That being said. Okay, Steven got the side switch into the wall break. The nice whiff punish from Steven. Finally forcing Roy to pop the birds. And we're fighting the opening with the revolver into the Roman cancel. Should be able to get the wall break. No, does not. And unfortunately gets banded ringered into ah oh, guaranteed death. I was gonna say, but friendly Steven, I couldn't get the wall splat unfortunately for him. Okay, Steven taking the lead right now. One match and one round. Up. Man, Roy being extremely aggressive right now. Oh, getting the Tired Rave for damage as well as guaranteed follow-up pressure. And here we go with the wall splat. Roy with the perfect though. Roy not out of this yet, yo. Okay, good combo from Steven. Gonna get the positive posit bonus that he definitely needs right there to not only get his burst filled up, but also the tension bar as you can see right now. Fill him up extremely quickly. Well, for two phases as well, at least. Okay, Steven's still in the corner, gets the opening with the 2D. The, the 2S, I'm sorry. And not enough to kill. It's not a odd Guilty Gear uh, moment, but still some pretty decent amount of damage. Especially since, yeah, Roy did not hit him a single time during this uh, this round. Steven looking extremely good right now. Uh, Steven up 2-0 to zero now? Yeah. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, Roy getting them dust loops in the corner. Gonna go uh, for some more up. Uh, Oh man, the banded revolver has been catching Steven so efficiently. Okay, Roar should be able to get the wall break. But first, the Tyrant Rave to be sure that uh, Steven was out.
Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> the battle of the 4S, man. They've been whiffing each other's uh, 4S4 for, for so freaking long. That being said, here we go with Steven and the Volcanic Viper. He gets stuff from Steven. Ah, just you know, one more hit. And he'll be on set point. But Roy is definitely not going to give it to him easily. And make him fight for it. Big fuck here. That being said, Roy has no burst. Well, he is about to get burst. Nice grab. Uh-uh. One more chance. Ah, uh, too far to get through. And he gets the grab. It's Steven on match point, yo. Set point. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Yeah, Roy is at its most dangerous when he feels pressured because then it starts becoming extremely uh, unpredictable. So it's only going to get go up in terms of difficulty for Steven to yeah get rid of Roy. Big wake up DP, but man, Roy was aware. He was ready too. Roy looking pretty good, man. Oh, with the OS catching the backdash and getting the kill. In the process, Roy using the OS to catch the backdash. Very nicely done for him, Roy. And on to the next battle. Okay, here we go with the wake up DPO. Yo, oh, my lord. Roy, man. Roy is the embodiment of disrespect. <laughs> I don't know how to say it correctly, but it's not like bad disrespect, but man, he loves to DP, man. Good stuff. And here we go, Roy, on the verge of uh, taking the lead, actually. Big 6P, and this should do. Oh, what? I think he was afraid that Steven was gonna burst at that particular time. Man, Roy with the DPs, yo. Big 2S counter hit. Roy definitely wanting to win this one, I can tell. Okay. Ah, big 4H. He's gonna do so much damage. And oh, no, who drops it? It goes for the MT low instead and gets it. And this is not enough. And this is enough. Wow, Roy eliminating. Run back against Consome. So hopefully, uh, we we are definitely bound to see a lot of very nice matches coming up. This time around, uh, Mugi resorting to using Nagori Yuki, so let's see how this comes out. And not his, uh, I'd say trademark Axel, but his Nagori Yuki is way more trademark than uh, than his Axel. Oh, yeah, here we go with the 6H for the wall break. Mugi with the pressure, though. Big 6P. And this is gonna be it for the first round. <laughs> Extremely explosive first round right there for Mugi. That boat! With a perfect, nevertheless. Good lord. Okay, here we go. The 6 HS. Unfortunately for Mugi, this is gonna be big. That might be death, actually. Or not. Oh! And man, no! Roy sniffing that bite attempt from miles away. Good stuff from Roy. The big six right there for Mugi. Definitely expecting a IAD right there. 
Man, and Roy on points. What the hell? This is freaking crazy. Are you serious? That is crazy, yo. Using the clash with the DP in order to get a follow-up and get a free jail of out uh, out of jail card free. That's crazy. Otakua! Irane! And the empty jump for the kill. Roy up one to zero, yo. Oh, again, again, man, Roy. He is, man. He is. That's because he's angry. Right now, he's definitely a little bit angry. I can definitely feel it. And when he's angry, he plays super unpredictable. He does some crazy stuff that usually work out. <laughs> so yeah, let's see if it works out for him in the end. For now, it's... Uh, well, he is in the lead, but... Mugi is quick to adapt too, so... Hopefully, it's not going to hinder... Um, Roy's ability to win this match. We shall see. But for now, yeah. Mugi is in the lead for this current match. Not the set in its entirety, obviously. Big 6p man. Wow, big 2 as well. And Roy getting the Volcanic Viper. Look at the damage. Ah, guilty gear. Ah, man, and Roy getting the grab and the kill in the process. Good lord. Who's gonna stop this man? Ooh. Big Fuku into DP right at the start of the round. Yeah, boom! Yeah, Roy trying to go for the cross up, but very nice block for Mugi. Ah, this time around gets chunked or gets uh gets it right in front. Big volcanic viper. Not enough to kill though. But definitely enough to cripple. Uh, and good stuff from Roy. Decided not to go for the bait of DYRC and just commit to the offense and just have Mugi try to block it. Unfortunately for Mugi, he couldn't. Okay, here we go with the opening. A ah, big Beyblade counter hit though. But what a spacing for Mugi, though. Wasura Yuki! Boom! Okie dokie. And here we go to close S counter hit, and this should be it. Okay, okay, here we go, the bandit. Whew. Mugi with a 6H, man. Content is just guard break all day. And Roy found the opening. Should be able to get a pretty nice combo. Look at the damage. Ah, oh, his brow dropped. His freaking dropped it, though. Straight into the Wasude Yuki. Not enough to kill. But definitely enough to lure that pesky blood gauge. Ah, man, and Roy with the perfect timing to jump should be able to get the juggle with the Roman cancel. And does. Roy on the verge of eliminating Mugi, though. Okay, ah, Roy, man. Not a pretty just front. Yeah, and this is gonna cost him the, the match. Good stuff from Roy, though. Very nicely done. So, Mugi finally putting one on the board. Okay, here we go with the two S. Ah! Nice whiff punish, yo. Again with the forest counter hit. Ouch. 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 
<laughs> Good lord, that did a heck ton of damage though. Nice delete bandit bringer right there. And here we go, man, with Roy taking the lead. One more match. If he wins this one, he'll make his way to the grand final. Good lord. Man, and Roy tried to navigate around the offensive Moogie is very, very hard. Okay, let's see. Close S. Nice grab right there from Moogie. Okay, nice spacing from Roy. Got the second hit of the revolver in. Not enough to kill yet. Good lord. And Tyrant Rape. Not enough to kill. One more hit for Roy. And that is it. Trying to read the yellow room because, ah, lord. And Moogie taking advantage of the. How do you say? The lack of. Um, of patience of his opponent and just like this still okie dokie breads and cookie this is potentially the last set of tonight the grand finale consomme versus roy let's see who's gonna take the 105th broder cup tonight we shall see Anyways, a big start of the match with Consome getting the entire straight into the heat knuckle. Oh wow. Trying to keep Roy in the corner. There we go with the gunflame. Nice back uh, Mega Fist to catch the Bandit Bringer attempt from Roy. Roy going straight for the lows. Gonna get the wall break. Ooh, big reflector right there you have no choice then to eat it okay nice blocks right there unfortunately for ah uh, roy got open right at the end ah man nice standing egg okay uh, nice grab not enough to kill and this should be it good stuff to, from roy roy taking the lead actually are we gonna see a, re a bracket reset <laughs> That'd be pretty cr crazy. Oh, big wild wild assault, white wild assault right there. Ooh. Oh, okay, here we go. The wall break. Good lord. Nice slider head. Roy side coming. Just jumped over it. Here we go, the close-up pressure. Roy trying to go for a, uh, a pretty interesting choice. Okay. Consumer definitely not out of this yet. Okay. Here we go, the close-up pressure. Nice backdash from Garuda. Still got counter hit it though. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, but drops it. Okay. Oh, and the back dash though. This is not what you wanted to see. With the Garuda impact. Oh, big counter hit, forcing Roy to pop the burst. And man, Roy just going straight into the reflector. Not enough to get the. No, he hit his here. Alloy. Here we go. The white wall assault. Getting the hard knockdown wary of the dp and holding off right at the end until getting the hit on roy and taking the second match good stuff from consomme good slider hit there we go again with the slider hit roy not paying his attention to his feet but you can see, yeah, still, Consum is still uh, trying to 
trying to sniff uh, DPs and, and whatnot out on Luffy's Emmett. Emmett. And here with the pressure, Roy definitely feeling himself. Uh, oh, nope. I'm out. Oh, no! It still hits! Are you serious? I hate to see it, really. That's so sad. That's so sad. It actually hits him, damn. Well, at least he doesn't get the wall break, but still, that's devastating, actually. I wonder if Enos hits as well. I think it does. Here we go with the entire right there from Consomme. Nice stuff from Roy not to commit. Ah, nice 6 speed. That was sick. 6 XP right there from Consomme. And nice blocks as well. You have to block again. Big gun flame. Not paying attention to the yellow roaming cancel. Almost got killed right there. With the back mega fist. Oh, and gets the confirm into the jetpack. Good stuff, man. Oh, and Somi looking pretty good. Not going down without a fight, to say the least. Oh, again, here we go with... Uh, Oh man, and Kosome reading the back dash goes straight into Heat Knuckle. Not enough to kill, is that? Oh, it is. Yo, Kosome, man. Kosome, up to the one. Man, this dude, though. Okay, on to potential tournament set. We shall see straight into the pot buster. Are you serious? The lack of respect of this man. Okay, Roy definitely looking a little bit flustered, not gonna lie. Let's go with the jump in. Ooh, big! And Consume definitely- Whoa! The rock command grab, man! That was so sick! And Consume, man, just like this, on set point. Who's going to take it? We shall see. That was sick. Did you guys see that? The freaking rock command grab just catching uh, Roy running straight towards him. That was just sick, man. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, okay, here we go. That was unfortunate for Consome, though. Landing straight on top of a fireball there. Nice grab. Roy not out of this yet, though. Oh, Kidoki Brazen Cookie still tournament point. Ah, we go with the slider head. Ooh, big forest counter hit. I think they're looking pretty bleak, not gonna lie. Nice grab right there from Garuda. Who catches the back dash? Ah, the full combo with the reflector. Wow. Get the damage though. Wow, the triple Garuda, the quadruple Garuda impact. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and the white bar over a minute song. Big Garuda. Garuda. Garuda, the double Garuda, just like this. Consome taking it with a chip on. <laughs>